uh, it's not a surprise to me, but um, it is surprising to me to see how you portray China as a devil in the region, while yourself look almost like an angel. But let me ask you a question that I talked yesterday. In 2000 and 2013, Filipino Coast Guard killed Chinese fishermen from uh, Hainan Island and from uh, Taiwan. Why were you so barbaric to kill Chinese fishermen? And why a country that is never stronger militarily than China could behave so barbarically against the innocent Chinese fishermen? And is it because uh, that you believe these fishermen are so innocent, so can do anything against them? And is it because the Chinese policy toward you at that time was so, so tolerant that we did, do, did nothing against you, so you could do that? So is it uh, something that China should reflect to extend that we have to increase our presence with a stronger Coast Guard? Please, let, please tell me frankly. I'll be very frank in responding to your question. Uh, thank you for using the word barbaric. Um, you know, Coast Guards in the region, not just the Philippine Coast Guard, is not a barbaric. You were mentioning about um, the shooting incident in Taiwan in 2013 and also uh, a maritime incident that happened between the Philippine Navy and Vietnam. All of these were already diplomatically settled now. We now have established a good relationship with Taiwan and also with Vietnam. But here's the thing now. Among the countries in the region, we all have a positive diplomatic relationships in discussing the South China Sea. And all of these countries have issues with the China Coast Guard and the Chinese maritime militia pretending to be Chinese fishing vessels. You keep on mentioning the word barbarism. But as I said, we abide with international rules-based order with the images and videos that we have already presented to the international community, in which I know that the People's Republic of China is not really pleased. We have portrayed what you, the word that you are saying, but I'm not going to use that against you. I think the transparency initiative that we have been espousing for the past months is a clear understanding of what the word barbarism is. Because Vietnam, Malaysia, Indonesia, and Philippines will always abide with the international rules-based order. I just don't know whether People's Republic of China is also willing to do the same. Thank you. Last week, during the South China Sea International Conference, a retired senior Chinese Air Force colonel accused Filipinos of barbarity, pointing to two separate incidents involving the death of a Chinese fisherman and another from Taiwan. In response to a virtual presentation by Philippine Coast Guard Commodore J. Terriella at the Conference on the South China Sea in Vietnam, Zhou Bo, a senior fellow at the Center for International Security and Strategy at Tsinghua University, criticized Terriella for portraying China as the devil in the region while depicting the Philippines as almost angelic. Zhou referenced that around the year 2000, where an incident which killing of a Chinese fisherman by the PCG, and another incident involving an island from Taiwan in 2013. He questioned Terriella, asking why they had been so barbaric in their treatment of Chinese fishermen, particularly when the Philippines was not as powerful as China. In response, Tariella defended the actions of the PCG, stating, I'll be very frank in responding to your question. Thank you for using the word barbaric. We abide by the international rules-based order. He noted that they had presented images and videos to the international community to demonstrate their perspective. Tariella also emphasized that Vietnam, Malaysia, Indonesia, and the Philippines, which have conflicting claims in the South China Sea, would always adhere to the international rules-based order, questioning whether the People's Republic of China was willing to do the same. It's important to note that China asserts sovereign rights over a significant portion of the South China Sea but an international arbitral tribunal invalidated its historical claims in 2016 under the United Nations Convention on the Law of the Sea. The exchange between Tariella and Zhou occurred shortly after China Coast Guard and Chinese maritime militia vessels attempted to block Filipino boats on a resupply mission to the Philippine outpost. At the second Thomas Shoal, 
During this mission, a China Coast Guard ship collided with one of the small boats providing provisions to troops stationed on the BRP Sierra Madre, which was intentionally grounded on the shoal to serve as an outpost 24 years ago. Commenting on the exchange, J. Batong Bakel, director of the University of the Philippines Institute of Maritime Affairs and the Law of the Sea, noted that Zhou's views reflected an outdated perspective that considered non-Chinese peoples as the barbarians. Tariella also mentioned that the issue involving the Taiwanese fishermen had been settled diplomatically. Barbarism is associated with backwardness, and barbaric can refer to something wild or primitive. In the context of the Chinese communist regime's accusations against other countries, it's clear that the use of such terms can be seen as ironic, as these accusations often highlight a perceived lack of adherence to international norms or uncivilized progress. What do you call on how the Chinese regime treat the Uyghurs? How about the way they threat those who are peacefully practicing Falun Gong and other religious practices? How about their actions against those depositors who just wanted to withdraw their money? What do you call that?